in terms of a pro sports atmosphere, I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks through the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability, though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. And they also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're going to love him or you're going to hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing in the UFC, but in terms of scratching his competitive itch, there's only one proven ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor. history. He is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something DC that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guy that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight winning streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the name on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total good time. for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> smart man and understands the adjustments and the differences that Max Holloway will approach this fight to. And if nothing else, he has to see it visually. Yeah. That is not the same kid that he fought way back in Boston in 2013. Lands a big right hand early. Hands high, hands high. Oh, flying knee to the head. Looked like he was in range for the counter. He's been trying to set that up. Unable to land there. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice straight punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, lands a huge left hand. Oh, nice mix-up of strikes there on the feet from Conor McGregor. Very dynamic here tonight. We talk a lot about that patented left hand. This is a man who brings a whole lot more to the table than just that. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Just over three minutes now to go. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, how clean is that jab by Connor? Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Back to his feet. Oh! Oh, big left hook there! by this man. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Holloway. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. And the strike lands clean. Right hook to the head blocked. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, that is a huge land with the right hand for Max Holloway. I'm not sure how much more the opponent can take, to be honest. You will with. not stand in there if you're getting hit in the face by those strikes with Max Holloway. When Max is throwing, it seems like he's just touching you early, but later he really starts to set down his punches to finish fights. Under a minute to go. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh! Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from him. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by McGregor. Final seconds. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, here we go with our second round. It is Max Holloway versus Conor McGregor. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. 
mean, you are definitely pressing that button. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are... There it is. Look at that. a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. I mean, what else? A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Holloway's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Three minutes now to go in this one. here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Now he's going full mouth. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. He's gotta start throwing now. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Under a minute to go. He loaded up there in that right kick. Good work from the top here by Holloway. Another strike gets through from the top position. Twenty seconds left. McGregor's in half goal. Making all these shots count. Holloway's back in full mount. Right, round three coming up next. 
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's Third round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a This is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that curve. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, a huge kick to the bottom. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, that swelling is getting out of control to that end. You see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You got to check on it. You got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue. All right, well, the doctor appears to think he's still good to go. And you know what? If it's good enough for the doctor, it's good enough for me. I'm all in. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Holloway's not making things easier on the opponent right now, continuing to target that damn... Oh. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Well, MMA is a constant exercise. Oh, oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Gets back to his feet. Big left hand. And another big kick for Max Holloway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be... Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. This is a terrible position. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the world with the swelling that's starting to occur. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up.
Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, and he landed and got the KO finish. Yeah.